All right, everyone. My name is Pascal Borel, and I'm uh, not speaking from the Swiss mountains today. I'm speaking from Geneva, still in Switzerland. And like my way of doing, I'm going today to read you the text of the book I have finished writing la end, of la end of August, named 2024. The book is available on Amazon in both French and English. I've written it in both French and English. And uh, you also have it on our website, www.forovet24.com. It is totally free. And if you read it from the website, you will have access to a comment section below each and every chapter. Basically, the purpose of the book is to give you a straight path to re-establish the strength of democracies at, in your service, in the service of the only sovereign, the people. Let's start. A short chapter on what are my intentions. I invite you to take a journey with me. You will have no pre-established goal because, like any true traveler, you have no intention of actually reaching your destination. The journey will be your only goal, and the path that you take will be the true essence of your endeavor. It is from the experience of this journey that will be absolutely evident to you what needs to be done. You can stop whenever you want if the path seems too steep. You will not be exposed to any risk. I simply hold out my rope to you, and you can grab it to let yourself be guided to the summit. You, your starting point is in the here and now, but our journey will also take us back in time to the origin of life on Earth. You will understand the environmental constraints that have shaped the evolution of life. You will study the basic rules, those that determine your behaviors and which govern structures which dominate your life today from the first biological origins to the most advanced technological civilizations, you will understand the stages that most influence evolution. You will analyze this evolution because it shapes our civilizations today. And I will show you why any attempt to refute this analysis will come to naught. My intention is to open your eyes to the connections between human activities and the environments in which they take place. In particular, to force you to anal analyze the origins of the human structures that we have created, to live in communities, to share our spirituality, to share our values, to share knowledge, to exchange goods and services, all of which making humans the ultimate collaborative species on Earth. As a result of this analysis, you will defend the interests of the greatest number the interests of the free humans we should all be on our planet. You will not make judgments. You will not discriminate, but you will establish a history of facts. You will understand how our political, 
educational, medical, financial, and industrial systems work and how all these sectors are interconnected. You will understand who really benefits from the wealth created by humans and how it is distributed among the members of our communities. You will object to the centralization of power and wealth in the hands of a very few leaders who prioritize their personal interests without any fault of their own. This newfound equilibrium will allow you once more to reappropriate your responsibilities, duties, rights, and freedoms in the domain of your children's education, your health, and the value generated by your work. In complex situations, you will learn to come up with simple ideas because only these will create a consensus and unite the greatest number in the general interest. You will no longer be simply a passive, ob passive observer describing a situation that baffles you, unable to interact in an impactful manner. You will become an active contributor proposing realistic solutions to solve our current problems, solutions which a seven-year-old child can easily comprehend. I today address all young men and women whose minds are not yet filled with the convictions taught by state educational systems. I today address young people aged between 7 and 19 because their intellectual innocence, freshness, still allows them to question the systems of thought that their parents and teachers want to impose upon them. They are our future. I am also addressing adults who still have an intellectual honesty, those who have resisted the conditioning of state education systems and the brainwashing of the press. I address the future of humanity, those who respect and take care of themselves because they know it is the only way to be in a position to take care of others. I address those who care about others, those who have understood that we are all inhabitants of a single planet and are therefore obliged to get along and find solutions together. I address those who today defend everyone's interest, which of the current financial and political system do not. I propose solutions to those who wish to improve our human environment because although it is to a great extent perfectly satisfactory, it is still perfectible and must adapt to today's way of life. I draw your attention to the fundamentals that have made our species so successful to once again create the common platform necessary to harmonize the global exchange of knowledge, goods and services. My intention is to remove the conflicts artificially created by our leaders addicted to power and money. To retain their power, they take up our attention with unconsequential issues to manipulate our emotions and condition our perception of reality. Throughout their control of 90% of traditional media, our leaders control the topics based on what they will 
on what will assist them most effectively to retain their power. They seek to fuel fear and anger because these prevent sane reasoning, feed social media, and create discord. They invent dangers that do not exist, but dangers in which you believe to keep you in fear and under control. In doing so, they know that they will generate division and disputes even within the traditional human fundamental unit, the family. They know that the only way to prolong their reign is to divide us. If necessary, when they lack subjects of discord, they will not hesitate to start wars. It is the tree that hides the forest. Politicians and the press will submerge you with their narrative, which evolves according to popular trends and the financial interests of the moment. The goal is to prevent any coalition of sound-minded people who simply want to live in harmony and cooperation with their fellow human beings without being robbed by the state. Whether it is the theft of your constitutional freedoms, the theft of the value of your work, the theft of your spirit of enterprise, the theft of your ability to raise your family, and the theft of your capacity to even educate your children in your own values, in your culture, according to your own free will. Perhaps, upon first glance, you may consider me simplistic, but when you have eliminated some of your convictions to make a little more room in your mind, you will understand that to solve a problem, you must first define what weighs the most on the outcome of the equation. I will strive to enlighten you on the roots of our current problems, what weighs the most in the game, so that you can experiment simple solutions instead of complicated ones. It is not simplistic to want to recreate the foundation of our democracies. It is giving ourselves a chance to bequeath to future generation system of governance that allow us humans to be the best possible version of ourselves, whatever our activities. For over 24 provides you with the roadmap to guide and unite all citizens of all nations based upon actions that defend all of our common interests. This will allow you to assemble the greatest number of people in the interest of human communities in our natural, social, constitutional, and legal environment. This will allow you to win the constitutional revolution essential to the future of humanity. Without violence, without insult or contempt, and without shedding a single drop of blood, this will allow you to implement social non-cooperation that which Mahatma Gandhi used to liberate India. I hereby personally undertake to provide you with a new constitutional and legal framework which will allow us to live in harmony globally in the respect of all cultures and in the respect of all the values that bind us all together. 
peace out.